Do you treat your dog as part of the family? <laughs> well, so do we. So why not celebrate your pup's birthday with the ultimate party box? Check us out on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook at Party Pup Info, and let us make your pup's party or any celebration perfection. Well, you know, I've I've always been a, a ahead of my time, but in some ways, I can say I always probably thought that I knew a lot more than I did. And I think that's probably true with all of us when we look back, you know, 20s, 30s. Now, when I look back, I was such a baby in my 20s. Like, I was so young. When I try to think about the mindset I was in, people want to know what, you know, hey, what was it like when you were in WCW working with this guy? I was like, I was a baby. I yeah, was 21. Yeah. How would I have noticed mm -hmm. anything going on behind the scenes? Just like anybody else. You're just doing your thing and yeah. you're, you're learning your way through it. So being as, like, peaceful as you seem to be with all the civil unrest in this country and oh, all this disease going on in the country how does that affect rob van dam well i mean it's the world i live in you know it affects me in a way where inside i i i feel like i could help people i do and um I feel a little bit of obligation to that because like whenever i do give like a speech even this some people are going to hear this and they're going to comment like one particular thing I said that really reached to them. I get that every time, and that means so much to me. Good. You know, someone will just say, hey, when you said that about, you know, getting hurt but getting right back into it and trying it again, and, man, that really – dude, that's, that's great because uh, I have a lot of experience, and I also have studied life for a long time, but we're all – attracted towards different things in life so we have these affinities and we all pay attention to different things in life you know so a lot of the stuff that i paid attention to while other people were there's a lot that i don't pay attention to. that's that's i'm one of a kind people know i'm unique what you don't know is there's so many things that we don't have in common you know i know nothing about sports or about cars uh for instance you know i can't have a conversation about the the Mets game or, or whatever. I, I, I know nothing about that. Um, I never learned how to dress nice and buy fancy stuff to try to get the girls, you know what I mean? So I resented like the kids in school that had the money to do that because right. they got the girls. But I never, you know, instead I just, you know, was trying to convince myself that, that, that my way was cool too and everyone would come around, you know, while adapting, learning throughout time, adjusting to get better. Um, so, I mean, I'm concerned. I, I'm very concerned with what's going on in Afghanistan, you know, and especially putting the history behind it and then thinking like, okay, so now what? Um, and I know people, you know, that were over there that are really affected by um, all their effort, you know, now seeming to go up and smoke. Um, it's, it, it's very uh, concerning, but I tend to for my spiritual purposes surround myself with positivity you know if there's something that's stressing me out i think everybody knows my vibe is different you know matter of fact one story i've told this a few times but i think maybe it'll be relevant and help explain i was gonna do a run-in on chris jericho who was the champion at the time in wwe and everybody all the agents were telling me all day they wanted to see me mad grr you know whatever he did i don't know we had something going on and uh, they wanted me to run in i'm gonna beat the shit out of him boom 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 bam splash him make my own count one two three hold the belt up yeah throw the belt on him and get out of there right which would have been really cool for me and my character and, uh, and, and to be in that position. But everybody was just driving me nuts all day. Just just think about something that really makes you mad. You know, just just think about that. I was like, I got it. I got it. I'm a fucking professional. I can, I'll be angry. I won't smile. But they were so into it. And right in Gorilla, before he we went out there, Jericho said something to him before he we went out there. And I already at this time, like, was having um, issues... Um, adapting to the politics there which jericho had already been familiar with so wrestling jericho a lot of things at that time you know uh when he was talking to me he sounded like office talking to me and i'd be like we had a, we butted heads a lot you know at that time it was stressful um it's a whole different stage up there 
politics and everything. It really is. So anyway, right before uh, he goes out there, Chris says to me, he says, just, you know, act, pretend like I hit on your wife. <laughs> Okay. The fuck kind of thing is that? And he went out there, and <laughs> I got. It was like the last straw. I was so mad. I was so stinked. I went out there, hit him in the face, hard, hard. You know what I mean? Bam, bam, bam. He went down. I, I, I think I splashed him. I, I grabbed the belt. I forgot to even do the cover or anything. I threw the belt or something. I went. I left. I went to the dressing room, grabbed my bags, threw everything together. I was so pissed. I didn't calm down until the next day. I had to leave. I couldn't even be around anybody. And I tend to have more of an even keel of my energy. And Katie will say this, too. Like, she doesn't fight with me because she says this all the time because if she gets me mad, she knows that it's going to be for days. Like, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know. A lot of people have, most people have. Everybody has a wider range than I do. But I see people get mad and come down mad, you know. Um, yell at your kids and then the next day you're talking to someone else or the moment I mean and you're calm and it's like for me I for me I can't do that you know I I, I like to be in the mode where I can grow the most and that is for me to be uh, to stay inside my head mostly you know think my thoughts up there instead of think about what I'm saying as I'm saying it and then regret it later. You know, someone, someone says something, uh, you might have heard this expression or something about it's sometimes it's better to uh, keep your mouth shut and have people think you're an idiot than open your mouth and prove it.